Hey guys, what's up? Spectre here, and today I wanted to tell you a little bit about a game that's gotten a lot of my attention. And don't worry, it's not a battle royale. It's a free-to-play, four-player co-op online game in the vein of Monster Hunter. Here are five reasons this game should be on your radar. In Dauntless, you play a Slayer, a highly skilled hunter tasked with eliminating behemoths, hulking beasts feeding off the Shattered Isle's natural resources. Over the course of the game, you'll turn these massive monsters into armor and weapons that get more powerful as you progress. And this brings me to the first reason you should be playing. One aspect of the game that instantly caught my attention was the customization. Armor sets are varied and visually interesting, even in the opening hours of the game. In a game where gear chasing is key, you need cool loot for people to chase, and Dauntless has this multiple times over. But it's not just your armor, it's also the in-depth character creation that got me excited to jump in in the first place. The next big reason to play is the support of Epic Games. Epic has been throwing its Fortnite money left and right, and many of its partners have seen the benefit of that. And while the studio behind Dauntless is Phoenix Labs, an independent outfit, they're already greatly benefiting from their relationship with Epic, tapping into their cross-play and cross-progression systems. You'll be able to play with your friends no matter what system they're on, and take your progress across various devices. I also just have to say that I see a lot of similarities between these two games in terms of development. I might not be a big fan of the Battle Royale-centric game that it's become, but I was first in the door for the original Fortnite, the version that pitted you and three others against hordes of zombies, what eventually became known as Save the World Mode. The current state of Dauntless reminds me of those early days, and I think that similarly to Fortnite, in the coming months this already charming game will become even more polished. The next reason you should jump in is just the fun gameplay. Doing little things like completing daily challenges around the hub world are addicting, and matchmaking is seamless and quick. Once you're in the match, mastering your chosen weapon, learning enemy moves, and taking down these not-so-gentle giants is an absolute blast. To be honest, I'd rather be playing right now than sitting here talking about it. Once I set foot in the in-game world, I just didn't want to leave. Another reason for that is the addicting gameplay loop. The game sets goals for you in terms of quests that are easy to track with a much more intuitive menu than Fortnite had to start out with. But you can also set your own goals by looking through the weapons and armor that you have available to you and hunting down the beasts needed to farm crafting mats. I found myself wanting to own a complete set from every creature and even finding the best upgrades that I could use to infuse into my armor. There's also a bit of show-off factor, which reminds me of tower fashion in Destiny. I'd be getting ready for work or just getting in a hunt before bed, and I found myself saying just one more. It's really easy to get hooked. Another reason why it's so easy to get hooked is just how accessible it is to players. Like I mentioned at the top of the video, this game is very similar to Monster Hunter. In fact, I often refer to this game as Monster Hunter Lite. It's much easier to understand, a bit less crushing at the game's outset, and just more approachable. This is great for convincing friends who usually shy away from games like this to join your hunting party and give it a go. The game does a good job of teaching you in-game mechanics and weapon systems, and it'll have you up and hunting in no time. Those are just a few reasons you should be playing Dauntless. And you have nothing to lose as it's free to play on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. And remember, it even features cross-play and cross-progression. I have a feeling that it's going to turn into a chart-topping game over the next few months, and it's always best to get to grinding as soon as possible. Make sure to sub for continued Dauntless coverage and patch update videos, and for coverage of games like Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 and Cyberpunk 2077. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.